البداية برحب بكل الحضور ويشرفني أن يكون يرقص في الجلسة أستاذ الدكتور مجاهد أبو مجد وأستاذ الدكتور مصباح two of the iconic figures for all endocrinologists and diabetology. We're talking about evidence-based choices on path to insulin initiation for IAM type 2 diabetes. Actually, we're going to start with the first case. We have Ahmed, the IAM, who comes to the clinical practice. This is a 40 years old male patient known to be diabetic for about 9 years. The IAM is also a hypertensive smoker and dyslipidemic. He has multiple risk factors with a family history of heart disease. He came to your clinic as usual for a regular follow-up, but he was upset because of the uncontrolling of his blood sugar. Also, he has a severe manifestation of a hyperglycemia in form of polyuria, polydipsia, with significant weight loss over the last two weeks. His previous A1C AIDS, and now the A1C is 9.5, in spite of being focused on the plan of surgery, on the plan of treatment uh, over the last six months. He's an accountant, smoker, a regular lifestyle. Actually, uh, he experienced before GLP-1 uh, agonist, but this continued because of the GIT upset. By examination, blood pressure is quite uh, controlled. PMI is 27%. Head and neck, chest and heart and abdomen examination, lower extremities reveal nothing. And clinically free, neurological examination show evidence of mild neuropathy detected by the monofilament test. And we asked the patient for a lab like a uh, lipid profile showing dyslipidemia alpha rate ratio at 25% with uh, estimated GPR is 60. طلبنا من احمد يعمل لنا اس ام جي او 6 بوينت ريدنج لقينا اكشوالي عنده الهايبرجليسيميا ميلي الفاستنج هايبرجليسيميا with mild post prandial hyperglycemia. So, what is the option for management of Mr. Ahmed? هل انا هزود الاورال؟ اكشوالي احمد كان ماشي على اس جي ال 2 ميتفورمين وسالفونايلوريا. هل انا اعمل اديشن اوف انذر اورال انتي دايبيتيك دراج؟ ولا انيشيشن بيزد ويز براندير انسولين اند ستوبينج اوف ذا اول اورال انتي دايبيتيك دراج؟ ولا انيشيشن بيزد ويز ستوبينج اوف ذا اول اورال انتي دايبيتيك دراج؟ اور انيشيشن بيزد اند كونتينيو ذا اورال انتي دايبيتيك دراج؟ رأي حضراتكم ايه؟ هل انا ادي العيان فرصه تاني للاورال؟ ما اعتقدش ان احنا عيان مر عليه تسع سنين وجاي بسبيير مانفستيشن هنديله فرصه للاورال. اكشوالي هنبدا المفروض بانسولين ثيرابي. طيب هبدا بانسولين ثيرابي with برانديال at the same time one of the main rule in initiation of the insulin therapy start simple and safe. يعني نبدا ميلي بالبيزل as a rule to fix fasting first. So the option here is starting the basal insulin with continuation of the oral anti-diabetic drug, especially SGL2, has a cardio-protective effect. With the activity and guidelines, when to initiate the insulin therapy and management of type 2 diabetes, many of the patients with type 2 diabetes after 5 to 10 years failure of the oral anti-diabetic drug and need to initiate injectable therapy like insulin therapy. But the patient with a severe manifestation of the hyperglycemia or acute insult or preoperative, you should initiate the insulin therapy with maintaining of the oral anti-diabetic drug that having cardioprotective effect like SGL2. In ADA guidelines in 2023, at Kedet on after failure of the oral anti-diabetic drug, you should start basal insulin with a dose 0.1, 0.2, and also the American Association of the Clinical Endocrinology, and then a total daily dose in the base, uh, if you start insulin. If the patient A1C is more than 8, you will start 0.2, 0.3 unit per kg. So, not uh, forget the three rule on initiation of the insulin therapy. Keep it simple and safe, fix fasting first, and avoid insulin pitfall and over visualization. So the dose of the insulin, 0.1, 0.2, every increasing and uh, not reaching your target, you will increase titrated dose by increasing two units uh, above your target by 20 milligrams every three days to five days. To reach your target, the A1C, according to the ADA guidelines, individualize it according to different factor. And the pre-brandial should be from 80 to 130, and post-brandial should be less than 180. And also time range should be more than 70, below the range less than 5, and above the range less than 25. طب ايه الامبورتنت انا احاول اقلل من الA1C؟ The impact of reduction of the A1C actually بيقلل according to UKBDS انه 
بيقلل عندي من كل المايكرو اند ماكرو فاسكولار كومبليكيشن even the reduction of 1% of the A1C reducing the microvascular complication by 37% and a mutation by 43% death is from the diabetes by 21% and 40% of the heart attack and 12 from the stroke in Pinsabia 3 point base and don't miss the mistake of over visualization لما اقول over visualization يعني انت معنا كده ان basal insulin above 0.5 unit per g you must take care that you, in, in, when initiating the insulin therapy, you must show that a basal insulin not more than 0.1 uh, unit uh, per TG per day, with a post brandial insulin still not controlling 180 milligram per deciliter, and still you're not reaching your target of the A1C, with a difference between the bit time and the AM is more than 50 milligram per deciliter. With the ADA guidelines 2023, in intensification important of the intensification survey, either, as Dr. Ahmed El, Munkin Nitsi, fixed combination survey with GLP1, or addition of the brandial insulin at the time of the main meal. Even the American Association of the Clinical Endocrinology accredited the Maldoada by importance of intensification therapy for the patient and avoiding the over visualization. What the hazards for delaying of the intensification therapy? One of the main hazards is increasing the risk of the cardiovascular disease. Even the patient that had a constant A1C more than seven without intensification therapy for one year, a patient had to be instant of three point maze from MI or stroke or even cardiovascular disease. What are the barriers against? And that's the problem that we're talking about. Most of the physicians. What are the barriers? Why I'm afraid to do the insulin therapy? Actually, from my side, as a healthcare provider, from the patient side, and from both of us, we feel from the hypoglycemia because instance of the hypoglycemia in the patient make him not adherent, discontinue the therapy. But from the patient, we have the failure, personal failure. نفس الوقت الخوف من الانجكشن فير فروم ذا انجكشن فري فروم ذا ادفرنس ليك اوف سبورت اند ليك اوف ريسورس اند نوت هاف ذا كارج فور تايتريشن فروم ماي سايد ات از ا بارت اوف ذا كلينيكال انيرشيا اند دونت بي ا بارت اوف كلينيكال انيرشيا سو يو شود افويد ذا انسولين بيت فولز وان اوف ذا انسولين بيت فولز يو ديسكرايب ذا انسولين وذاوت فولوينج يور بيشن يو ماست فولو يور بيشن بيكوز ماني اوف ذا بيشن افتر انيشيشن اوف ذا انسولين ثيرابي فيل تو ريتش ذا اي 1 سي So titration and titration is important. وعشان كل وقتين بنا إن الإنسولين لما بنعمل initiation of the insulin therapy, we have a two period. Period of initiation and titration, which usually take from eight to twelve week, or maintenance, which have the stable dose, except if the patient enter in the instance of the hypoglycemia. One of the main disadvantage during the titration is instance of the hypoglycemia, which may occur with the first. Generation basal insulin. So, instant of the hypoglycemia in a, a period of titration sometimes may occur also in maintenance periods. So, what are the options for the basal insulin? In option, the basal insulin should be have the balance between reduction of the A1C and decreasing the instant of the hypoglycemia with more flexibility. What are the options? for the basal insulin. We have multiple options for long-acting insulin. But here, one of the spectacular study is the Bright study. We actually have a comparison between the Glargine 300 to Jail and Degodec 100. In a previous naive type two diabetic patient, not controlling the oral anti-diabetic drug, plus or minus GLP-1, had a two group we show you an end result in reduction of the A1C. Actually, there is not inferiority of the Glargine 300 versus IDIG 100 in reduction at the end of the study. Also, the instance of the hypoglycemia is less with the Glargine 300, and also the instance of the nocturnal hypoglycemia, which occur from midnight to 6 a.m., is less with the Glargine 300. What about a special population like renal impairment? Actually, Glar G300 showing a reduction of the A1C more safe with less instance of the hypoglycemia and also even in geriatric and elderly patients. What is the difference between Glar G100 and Glar G300? Uh, Actually, it's more in volume and smaller devoted sub Q and also more stable pharmacokinetic and pharmacodynamic with more prolonged action.
To Gilles and La Gilles 300, what about the instant of the hospitalization because of the hypoglycemia? Actually, in comparing it to Gilles and La Gilles 300 with other third generation basal insulin like La Gilles 100, it is lower in the instant of hospitalization because of hypoglycemia. So, our conclusion and take home message La Gilles 300 to Gilles in a comparison with La Gilles 100 is a stable prolonged gl glucose lowering effect, lower instant of the hypoglycemia more flexible and lower weight gain. Also, Glargine 300 in a comparison with IDG 100, it is similar in glycemic control with lesser of the hypoglycemia, with a favor of less instance of the hypoglycemia, especially with the Glargine 300 during titration period. And finally, the bright study sub-analysis in a special population, like patients that having renal impairment and elderly, uh, showing a significant reduction of the A1C with lower instance of the hypoglycemia, and thank you.